Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we have a lot of money and we need to attempt to spend it. So that's going to be exciting here. We're just going to hop into a place kind of at random and we're just going to look to do a few upgrades here until this money is gone. And I figure that if we just do this at like the beginning of every episode or something, it'll be a little tedious. But at least that way we won't be spending like all of our time spending money. I might also just go around and do this off camera in the future that might be the best way forward to be honest is just before i start the episode just go around and do this yeah I'll, I'll probably do that in the future for this one we'll just go around and spend the money that's fine and then we'll just not worry too much about how much money we have it is definitely inefficient to be not spending this money when we have all of these upgrades in our realms that could be built that's definitely a thing we were definitely concerned about that, but that has absolutely no bearing on the situation as long as we actually spend the money. That's the important thing. As long as we're not just sitting on it forever, as long as at some point it gets spent. Yes, it is slightly more inefficient to not spend the money. Oh, we're holding here. To not spend the money as soon as it comes in. That is absolutely slightly less efficient. We're done now. Fantastic. That wasn't too bad, honestly. That that really wasn't too bad. It is slightly less efficient to not spend the money the moment it comes in, but... Oh, we're incapable. Right, we can't declare war. Hmm. That's a problem. We've also got a fake faction here. Yeah, that's a fake faction. So our regent furthered their mandate. But yeah, we can't declare war because we're incapable. We also, I don't believe, can just straight up abdicate. We could do this. This is probably the best option. If we can't declare war while incapable. Our son is 21. Our time has come. Hmm. We could have a servant fulfill our wish and we die or no servant agrees. We could see. We need someone to free us. We'll see what happens. Well, we're apparently asking her to end our life. Please, end this. And it worked! Fantastic. So that is absolutely glorious. We, of course, need to do something about all of the this nonsense. We need to grab a lifestyle here. I think going stewardship lifestyle at this point is a massive waste, even when we're only making 400 gold per month. That's actually a substantial dec decrease. But I'm guessing that's due to vassal opinion. Actually, we can check that. I'm going to make a save right here, and we will return to this. But I want to reload this save here, which is the one that I just loaded up. I want to reload this, and I want to check to see our source of income. And we're going to go back. I just want, I'm just checking the record here. So what do we have? We have vassal taxes of 890.8 .8. so that is a substantial increase but it's mostly these percentage increases 45 percent there okay that's absolutely fine so we're gonna go back there we go no problem we'll load this right on back in and we definitely are getting less money from our vassals a 45 percent increase is still less than i would have expected i think our domain oh our domain income is way lower right we're 13 out of 9 domain domain limit right i'm dumb okay well that was you know not entirely wa wasteful not entirely pointless but not the most useful thing in the world but it's definitely interesting to know those differentiations i think so we're at 11 out of 9 right now this is our current wife 25 stewardship Let's see what happens if we put her over onto Managed Domain. 11 of 11. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. We need a Chancellor. We need a Marshal. We need a Steward. And we need a Spymaster. 
So we're at 513. This is looking more like what I expect to see. That number will continue to increase. We are not going to be going for stewardship or learning at this point. I feel like both of these are kind of useless for us. Martial or diplomacy? Diplomacy is an interesting option here. That's a very interesting option. Hmm. I think we're going to go for Marshall, though. We don't have an education trade in it, but I think we're going to do it. We'll go for strategy focus. We could repair this regalia. Sure, why not? And while we're at it, let's hop into the royal court and check our court artifacts. Nothing needs repair here. Beautiful. Okay, so at this point, we'll tick forward. Now that we can. And we have a dangerous faction here. This is probably not a real faction, though, since we just loaded in. Let's let it update. One month tick. And we'll see if that's actually real. Okay, there's the update. So, the answer is... The Liberty faction is real. The other factions, not so much. So do we want to do anything about the Liberty faction? Well, we could theoretically do something here. Actually, that'll not result in an alliance. Oh, it's just a courtier. Okay, what do you have? You have a son? We've got a half-sister. Do it. So that'll pull 10% out. Their threshold is 60. Which is fascinating. For now, that does the trick. Okay. There's this ransom, which is fine. We'll accept that. Our heir is currently unmarried. This is our brother. Okay, he's probably not going to ultimately be the heir. I do want to attack this guy now that we can. We should have... Assuming this guy stuck around... He did not stick around. Okay. So we're going to have to check for another claimant here. Unfortunately, the guy that we had might have died. Or it might be this guy. That's about the right age. He would come to our court. So we absolutely invite this guy to our court. This is something that needs to happen, like, now. He's 64. So we absolutely need to do this. He is the correct religion. I think this is the right guy. I think he was here previously, and he just left. So we would need to attack here, pressing this claim, specifically. Now that is expensive. Claimant of different dynasty and claim titles. So that would put us negative in our prestige, which is certainly painful. We could host a grand tournament. The danger here is that that 64-year-old dies or leaves before we get done with this. But we're going to do it anyway. So here in Mecca, we would be able to add in, and this is our aptitude. Right, so we're only aptitude three for a lot of these. So like wrestling, duel, horse race. And then beyond that, it would be just archery and recital. So, I mean, this is going to be a pretty expensive thing, right? No doubt about that. But we can crank up the prizes. Yeah, that's getting very expensive, actually. We're going to cancel that plan. I think we're just going to go into prestige debt to make this happen. We do need to make this happen. This needs to go as quickly as we can. Yes, we're going to be disgraced from it. That's fine. We'll work our way out of that relatively quickly. What is this? But we'll not pay the puppet master. Okay. So how much does this guy actually have? 41,000. And he's allied to this guy who's our vassal. Okay. Okay. So 41,000 is not too bad. His capital is down here. Sure. We can definitely drop a rally point somewhere around here. We'll raise all of our men at arms. We'll raise levy troops as well. Yes, we're losing level levels of fame. He's got 50,000 with the Holy Order. Okay. Beautiful. There's a disillusion faction. We're not shocked about this. Bathhouses in Mecca. We should certainly look to get an additional upgrade going in Mecca. No doubt about that one. So we'll upgrade our windmills here. And over in Bisha, we can actually upgrade our blacksmith as well. Cool. So that'll do for now. Back over at the war, we've got enough 
men at, or rather levy troops here. I almost said men at arms. That would have been awkward. Is this a castle? No, that's a temple holding. Okay. This, uh, this model fooled me slightly, but I should have known that, obviously, since we played in this region before. So we'll get that siege done. We'll split off our siege forces here, as usual. And we're going to grab this guy as a siege commander. And we're going to head downward. Oh, this is such a strong county. I remember deliberately basing in this county because it's so good. We want to head up here and fight this army. And that army will likely get stack wiped. Especially with them spreading out like this. This is a bad idea. They should not spread out like this. They are super dead here. Okay, we're going to siege these locations here. Yeah, they did the same thing we did and just spammed castles out here. It's so powerful. So this is all stack wiping, as expected. Our stats are just way too absurd. They can't handle this. We're going to walk down and continue our sieges here. We need this war to be done quickly. So... It's definitely good that we're working our way through this, but we need to get through these castles. I mean, we could walk up here and take the attrition. And actually, I'm going to. Yeah, that's actually not bad for the attrition. We're just going to walk up this way, take the attrition, start the siege on their capital. That's a slow siege. And then we'll siege our way over here with our fast siegers. He's actually grouping up here again. Okay. War is actually over. So that's fantastic. We captured his son and heir with that one. So we enforce those demands before our claimant dies on us. And that is pretty much all of India under our control. I mean, you can maybe split hairs about what the definition of India is up over here. But we'll call that good enough for now. We can certainly start to conquer up over this direction. And actually, that's a solid claim. This guy's of a different religion. We could ask him to convert nicely. And we'll see what he does. That would cheapen it for us, but we do need to get this prestige sorted. Okay, he refused. We could also potentially think about declaring with someone else's claims, like this one. That's a lot cheaper. But we're still negative in prestige, and I think we should hold that grand tour tournament at this point. So let's hop over to Medina and do archery and recital and wrestling and duel and horse race. All of those are going to be expensive, of course. We're going to have this guy be our champion, I guess. Sure. Our goal is triumph, but really what we're after here is just making prestige. That is our overall goal. It's going to be pretty expensive, but we'll start that grand tournament. And we're on track to qualify for the archery contest. Phenomenal. We're going to go to the tourney grounds just as soon as we can here. And it is indeed opening. Okay. So what do we want to get here? Our score increases moderately. Do it. So we're guaranteed to qualify for archery. I don't know if we'll win, but that's not all that relevant. Our prestige is coming up by quite a lot. We're gaining... Prestige from eminent guests arriving. Oh, we should go to the tourney grounds again. We'll keep the secret here. I don't care that much about a small score increase. But yeah, lots of guests arriving. And each guest that arrives is bringing us prestige. That's wonderful. Yes, show this guy in and his 435 gold. But more important than that is the fact that he brings in 150 prestige. We can go to the temple and ask for Allah to bring us glory. It doesn't work, unfortunately. With a 50-50 chance. And here we go. An unpressed claim on the Empire of Al-Andalus. Hilarious. We are going to show the world our skill. I don't care about placing a bet. That's irrelevant here. Hmm. These are not great chances of sabotage. Okay. Hmm. They raise suspicions of foul play, who are now more watchful than ever. Okay. We could call a physician here for 450 gold, and I think that we do that, actually. Beautiful. Execute builders for dread? Hmm. Spending 75 prestige is not great. Actually... I'm fine with spending gold here to compensate the victims. Do it. 
Okay, unfortunately, this this guy uh, decreased their score greatly. Cool. We are one with the bow, probably? Yes. 64%. Do it. Sadly, our progress to victory didn't increase. Our score does increase greatly. Okay. We completed our triumph intent. So apparently we did triumph in the archery. Fantastic. We won. So that's 750 prestige. We're, of course, going to want to... So we're probably not going to qualify for recital here. The tourney grounds would increase our progress to victory. Right. And that is what we're after here. Hmm. Our score increases minutely. I would call that more than minutely, honestly. So that's going to begin in 53 days. We're going to tick on forward here, and we'll visit a location in 8 days. So the temple is where we'll go next, and what do we want to get here? Hmm. Gaining 150 prestige. Absolutely. We're about to be positive in prestige, and there we are. We're now on track to qualify for the recital as well. So that's great. We'll hop over to the gr temple grounds here. 150 prestige here, huh? We have a 100% chance of defeating this guy. Cool. So we gained a bunch of prestige out of that one. And we're already 46% of the way to victory. It's time to show the world our skill. So what are we going to recite? Well, our score would increase slightly here. Do it. 99% chance of our score increasing moderately? Absolutely do it. Hmm. 56% chance. Yeah, our score did indeed increase moderately. 56% chance of a moderate increase. And that is the best one. So we'll take it. One last verse. Combined diplomacy and stewardship challenge. Okay, I don't know who won this one. We're on track to qualify the for the wrestling contest. Oh, we won this one too. Wonderful. So we've won two of the tournaments thus far. Two of the five. Let's see. Do we want to become the owner of the favor of a lady? Actually, either way we get 150. Any way we choose, we get 150 prestige. This increases our score slightly. There we go. So that's beautiful. We're doing quite well on our qualification. No problems there whatsoever. So we'll visit the temple next, of course. Wouldn't it be wacky if we won all five of these? wonder if we can find one of our ancestors. No, we didn't. So we spent some prestige. But honestly, we're doing pretty well on prestige now. We're already back up to distinguished and almost to illustrious. This is going really well, prestige-wise. We are going to visit the tourney grounds, of course. And this is going to boost up our stress. That's fine. Do it. Okay, we've got wanted desires. We're just going to bite our lip and try to stay focused. Cool. So we're going to apparently be wrestling this guy, the hideous. Perfect. We're already at 55%. So an impo we, we did get wounded here. Hmm. Only a 20% chance of our score going up here. And we're going to get a dislocated finger. There's only one with one thing for it. It didn't help at all. Okay, that's sad. That liver, that liver does look quite vulnerable, but we have better odds if we lock up as warriors. Do it. Did we win? I don't think so. We could say that he cheated and uh, disqualify him. But we're not going to do that. I don't want to get the penalties for that. So that's absolutely okay. Unfortunately, we don't win this one. But honestly, we've already earned enough. It's absolutely fine. Cool. A fine contest. So here's the final.
And who ends up winning this one? I don't think it's our champion. No. It's the guy who dislocated our dislocated our finger. What a jerk. Well, that's fine. So, of course, next we're doing dueling, so we'll visit the tourney grounds. We're guaranteed to qualify right now. So, they're blind drunk. It should be trivial to rile them up. Absolutely do it. That'll actually lose us some stress, which is beautiful. We're very happy to do that. And we're going to visit the temple next, of course, because we're just trying to increase our stats here and win this. Our score would increase greatly. 50% chance of us gaining superstitious, which is not the worst thing in the world. And we did become superstitious. Okay. So our score does increase moderately. And we'll visit the tourney grounds here before the uh, gaining starstruck. Monthly prestige plus 10%. That's not bad. We're going to gain 350. Yeah, do it. Beautiful. We're guaranteed to qualify, so this is all good. We're 72% of the way to winning the duel already. And we'll face this fine gentleman. What do we got? Our score increases moderately. Okay, so we would be a low blower. Yeah. We didn't mean to. We must remember our training, but what? Are you scared? Is actually better. So we'll grab that one. And we won this one. Guaranteed. Beautiful. So we won this bout of the duel. That is not the entirety of the duel, of course. Victory. We need to win a couple more. Some champion. Indeed. Our champion is not doing well. We've got really high progress to victory. Beautiful. I'll teach him to show his back to me. So our score will increase slightly there. And once again, what are you scared is the best option. And we win again. Beautiful. So that, I believe, was the quarterfinals. So the next will be the semifinals. Oh, no. That was the semifinals. We're now in the final bout. We can do this. We're already 75% of the way there. Hmm. We'll just concentrate on the fight and lose some stress here. What are you scared again? And we lost. Sad. <laughs> Very sad. But that's okay. We've made a lot of prestige out of this. We could just disqualify him. But we're not going to. We're honest. So we are confounded. Beautiful. So close. So, finally, of course, is the horse race, and we're close to qualifying. Let's increase our score moderately here. And now we're guaranteed to qualify. Beautiful. So, we've got 45 days until the horse races begin. And let's hop on over to the temple, which apparently just immediately closed. Apparently, nothing happened when we went to the temple. Okay. Well, we'll go to the tourney ground. 65% chance of... Oh, our training was embarrassing. Well, we did not win that. Okay. 20 dread for this scheme. Hmm. 20 dread is fine. We don't actually get any uh, stress for that, which is kind of odd, considering that we are honest and just, but we are sadistic as well. So that's fascinating. This will definitely be quite a race. Our champion did not qualify, sadly. Hmm. So. Who do we have that's going to be our rider? We'll go with Param. Cool. So that'll be fine. Daring Cavalryman, huh? The Ferris of the North Star gaining 25 glory? Yeah, that's fine. Do it. The crowd would turn to our rider. Excellent. We like it. We're at 58% right now. Hmm. 40% chance of it increasing greatly. I don't know if that worked or not. One more push. I don't think we won that one. We'll see. Oh, no, we did win. Beautiful. So that's absolutely great. The ceremony is happening right now. So we get a lot of stuff out of that. Perhaps a few words, considering we're the host. 
There we go. So, uh, <laughs> we got a lot out of that. We won a prize scepter, an illustrious pedal item, or pedestal item, I should say. So let's hop over to our court artifacts and see what we might want to get rid of. Like the prize goblet, perhaps? We've already got a prize scepter over here, but now we have another one. So we could definitely think about doing that. We've also got like Mariam's skull. We could certainly do that as well. So the prize urn would then be replaced with a prize goblet. Monthly renown? It's not bad. Okay, so something kind of like that. Sure. So now we have a lot of prestige, and we can start properly attacking up over this way. He broke up. Oh my. Well, we're going to be declaring on a lot of little guys here in just a bit. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to deal with this scenario over here. That needs to be handled. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.